Hugh Ross, Why the Universe is the Way it Is When gazing up at the night sky, it's easy to feel overwhelmed by the sheer vastness of the universe. How could we, on this tiny floating rock, possibly fit into such an enormous and seemingly chaotic landscape? Was it by chance that we ended up here? Or was it, in fact, intentional? This idea may seem far-fetched, but many scientists and theologians have explored it, dubbing it the anthropic principle. This refers to the notion that the universe appears to have been designed with human life in mind. While there are proponents of the anthropic principle, like the author Hugh Ross, others argue that the accommodation of life in the universe is simply a coincidence resulting from the laws of physics and chance. Regardless of which side of the old Earth creationism argument you fall on, the fact remains that our universe is a remarkable place, full of wonders and mysteries waiting to be explored. What does it mean to be alive? What is our purpose? Is there a creator behind all these complexities? Whether you're a scientist, a theologian, or simply someone with a curious mind, there's always something meaningful in this limitless universe for everyone. So, as we unravel the mysteries and secrets of the universe in this blink to Hugh Ross's Why the Universe is the Way It Is, Hopefully, you'll begin to understand your place in the universe a bit better and enjoy the cosmic journey along the way. Why the Universe is Fine-Tuned for Life Let's start with the big question. Why is the universe the way it is? Scientists have spent decades trying to unravel the mysteries of the cosmos, and their discoveries have been nothing short of astounding. Among the most mind-boggling revelations in astrophysics is that the universe is in many ways fine-tuned for life. Here are five probable reasons why. First, think about the gravitational constant, the strength of the electromagnetic force, and the mass of the electron. All these fundamental constants of physics appear precisely calibrated for life to exist. It's as if the universe was designed for a purpose. This concept is what the anthropic principle is about, and suggests that the universe is precisely tuned to enable the emergence of intelligent life. Second, the fact that the universe isn't chaotic, but operates under precise mathematical laws, supports the premise of purposeful design. Astrophysicist Fred Hoyle once compared the probability of the universe having the precise conditions necessary for life to a tornado sweeping through a junkyard and assembling a fully functioning Boeing 747. The odds are simply astronomical, yet here we are. Third, when we look at the physical constants and parameters enabling life to exist, it's hard not to be amazed. For example, the strong nuclear force which holds atoms together must be precisely balanced with the electromagnetic force which repels them. If the strong force were only slightly weaker, atoms would fall apart, and life as we know it would be impossible. And if the force were slightly stronger, nuclear fusion and stars would create too many heavy elements. From there, life would still be impossible. Fourth, consider that the electron and proton mass ratio is just right, allowing stable atoms to exist. If it were just slightly different, the universe would consist solely of hydrogen, making life impossible. The existence of stable elements like carbon, oxygen, and nitrogen is also essential for forming life as we know it. Research has shown how the fusion of helium and stars is essential for creating these elements. The precise conditions required for such fusion are another example of the universe's fine-tuning. And last but not least, there's also the fact that the universe is hospitable to life, as exemplified by the existence of habitable zones around stars. These zones are regions where temperatures are suitable for liquid water, the catalyst of life. That Earth floats within our sun's habitable zone is a close-to-home example of the universe's fine-tuning. While there's still much we don't know, it's clear that the universe is a remarkable and awe-inspiring place. As we continue to explore its mysteries, we should always remain curious and humble in the face of its mysterious beauty. Now that we have an appreciation of the life-supporting nature of the universe, it's time to dig deeper into its purpose by examining its origins. The Big Bang Theory from a Theological Perspective The age of the universe and the Big Bang are cosmology's most fascinating topics. 
The idea that the universe began with a massive explosion and has been expanding ever since is both mind-boggling and awe-inspiring. The first compelling evidence for the Big Bang Theory is cosmic background radiation, essentially the residual heat from the explosion. This radiation was first discovered in 1964 and studied extensively, providing insights into the early universe. Another piece of evidence supporting the theory's strength is the abundance of light elements such as hydrogen and helium. These elements were formed in the first few minutes after the Big Bang, and their abundance matches what we'd expect based on our understanding of nuclear reactions. Taking these two facts into account, consider the theological implications of the Big Bang. The idea that the universe had a beginning suggests that it was created ex nihilo, out of nothing. This idea is echoed in many religious traditions, including Christianity. Interestingly, the Big Bang Theory matches the Bible's description of the beginning of existence, specifically in the opening verses of Genesis. The verses describe light forming into existence right after God uttered, let there be light, while symbolic, Hugh Ross, who's a Christian and an astrophysicist, suggests that we could interpret this passage as a metaphorical description of the cosmic microwave background radiation left over from the Big Bang. There are still many unanswered questions about the Big Bang, such as what caused it and what existed before it. But even with these uncertainties, the theory remains one of cosmology's most compelling and awe-inspiring ideas. In short, the age of the universe and the Big Bang offer a glimpse into the mysteries and wonders of creation. And as we continue exploring these mysteries, we may better understand the universe and our place in it. Look up at the stars to find purpose in existence. The formation and evolution of galaxies and stars are wonderful traits of the universe. From the massive black holes at the center of galaxies to the red giants that mark the end of a star's life, these cosmic objects are fascinating catalysts for our intellectual and theological reasoning. No wonder our ancestors loved worshiping them. Galaxies and stars form due to gravitational forces. Over millions of years, gravity causes clouds of gas and dust to collapse, forming stars and eventually entire galaxies. As stars are born and die, they produce the essential elements for life. The most remarkable aspects of galaxies and stars are their structure and properties. From the spiral arms of the Milky Way to the dazzling arrays of colors in a nebula, these cosmic objects are functional and beautiful, and who knows, may be purposeful too. One of the most compelling references to their cosmic beauty is the Hubble Ultra Deep Field. Captured by the Hubble Space Telescope, the iconic image shows thousands of galaxies, each containing billions of stars, if not for beauty and wonder, the image can serve as a reminder that so many habitable zones exist out there, waiting to support life if they're not already doing so. Whether you're an astronomer or someone who continuously marvels over the endless cosmos, you can't deny that galaxies and stars offer a glimpse into the mysteries and wonders of the universe. So whenever you feel lost, just look up at the night sky and remind yourself that you're made of the same stuff as the celestial bodies above. Your existence as a life form may be the spark that gives the universe meaning. The origin and nature of life on Earth is a fascinating topic that has puzzled scientists for centuries. How did life begin and why did it evolve the way it did? These questions are still being explored today and the answers may hold profound implications for our understanding of the universe and our place in it. Life's most interesting aspect is its low probability. Ross suggests that the chances of the simplest form of life randomly existing are nearly non-existent. Yet, here we are today, living and breathing. We're the result of billions of years of evolution. If knowing this fact doesn't spark your greater sense of purpose, Ross doesn't know what will. Our home planet's distance from the sun is why life can continuously evolve here. Had Earth orbited too close to the sun at any time, it would have become way too hot for us to exist. But we wouldn't have been alive to observe this fact if Earth were too far either. In this habitable zone that we call our home, our planet is at the right temperature, enabling water to exist and nourish us. Another low probability factor that ended up existing is the abundance of organic compounds on Earth, including amino acids that make up proteins. 
These compounds are thought to have formed due to lightning strikes and ultraviolet radiation from the sun. Deoxyribonucleic acid, or DNA, the genetic material that stores and transmits the instructions for life, requires these proteins to exist. So the existence of DNA and other biological molecules in the universe suggests that life isn't a random occurrence but a natural outcome of the universe's fine-tuning. Now that we've zoomed all the way into the most microscopic aspects of life, let's zoom back out and continue with our cosmic exploration with a much broader concept, time. Through entropy, time could indicate the purpose of the universe. The concept of time is one of the most mysterious and fascinating ideas in science. It drives everything, from the evolution of the universe to the human aging process. Still, Despite its ubiquity, we need to understand what time is, how it works, and why it could be evidence of the universe's continuous fine-tuning. What makes time intriguing is its relativity. According to Einstein's theory of relativity, time can slow down or speed up depending on the observer's position and velocity. So time isn't a fixed and absolute concept. Rather, it's a relative one that depends on the observer's frame of reference. Another fascinating aspect of time is its seemingly linear direction. This carries the idea that time only moves forward, away from the past, to the future. The second law of thermodynamics supports this concept, stating that entropy, or disorder, always increases over time. In other words, we can't unbreak an egg or unspill a glass of milk. If it happens, it happens, and there's no reversing it. Ross theorizes that time and consciousness are inseparable and interdependent, that our experience of time is subjective and dependent on our perceptions and emotions. Yet, deep down, we know time also has an objective reality we can't escape. So what does all of this mean for our understanding of the universe and our place in it? For one, we can realize that time isn't just a physical concept, but also a deeply personal and subjective one. And this goes back to the concept of purpose. As we continue to explore the mysteries of time and time itself, we'll also continue to unravel our purpose and the reason the universe we're in exists. The universe is endless and so is your quest to define your purpose. The universe carries an infinite potential for discovery and exploration. Due to its unknowable vastness, there's always something new to discover. Think about it. From within the depths of space to the mysteries of the human mind, there's always something new to discover and explore. One of the most fascinating areas of human exploration is our search for extraterrestrial life. The existence of life on Earth shows that life may be a natural outcome of the universe's fine-tuning instead of purely accidental. The possible discovery of life elsewhere in the vast cosmos would have profound implications on how we perceive life. Beside the ongoing search for extraterrestrial life, countless other mysteries await to be uncovered, from the nature of dark matter and energy to the origins of consciousness. As we continue exploring these mysteries, we can strengthen our understanding of the universe, ourselves, and our place here. We may discover new technologies that transform our lives or develop new ways of thinking. We may discover new technologies that transform our lives or develop new ways of thinking that challenge our assumptions and beliefs. The thought of these possibilities is exciting, which means life can never be boring. Still, the biggest reason exploration and discovery are important is the sense of wonder and awe these activities inspire. If the universe is so beautiful and complex, our efforts to explore and understand it are, by definition, a testament to the human spirit. So, when in doubt, remember that there's always something new to discover and explore in our universe. As we continuously do so, we can connect to the most recognized purpose of our lives to date, discovering the meaning of where we are while we're still breathing. You've just listened to our blink to why the universe is the way it is by Hugh Ross. The key takeaway from this is that, by exploring the endless mysteries of the universe, we can become part of something much larger than ourselves, we're in a vast and complex place with wonders and mysteries waiting to be discovered. Every observable thing known to humankind has happened here. And here's a final thought. 
The universe reminds us that we're responsible for caring for our planet and working toward a better future for ourselves and future generations. Whether we're simply marveling at the beauty of the cosmos or creatively leveraging it to make the world a better place, there's no denying that we're all equal parts of the universe, today and always. Well, before you leave, don't forget to subscribe to Books in Blinks and leave your thoughts in the comments section below. Also, check out the other titles in our playlist. I'm Pedro from Books in Blinks and I hope to see you here again.